Do you have azimuth problems or do you just think you have azimuth problems? I'll show you how to find out what it is and what to do about it. Stay tuned. Azimuth adjustment is one of those things that people think just needs doing. Well, I'll show you what you need to do and how to do it and why you should and shouldn't do it. You're going to need a tablet or smartphone. This is for recording and playing back. You're going to need a screwdriver as well, a screwdriver. And you're going to need a lead to be able to plug into your tablet. This lead has the ability to feed into the tablet, but you can just use the mic. That's as well as a tape, one to record on and one to play back. Oh yeah, don't forget, you need an app on the tablet. This is the app I used. It's very simple and it's free on the Android Google Play. For your playback cassette, it just needs to be a good quality one that you know sounds good. Because if it doesn't sound good, there's no point using it. Azimuth is the cause and cure of muddy sound. All of this equipment, anything with a tape head, is going to have an azimuth adjustment. We need to make sure it's right. As it says on the screen, azimuth is one of these things that you can set, but you have to make sure you've got a backup. You need to be able to set it back to where it was originally. And I'll tell you how to do that at the end of this video. I've got a little instructional on making a backup tape. Assuming you've made a backup tape, this is now the exciting bit, and this is how we do it. This is fun, but let's get it right. Firstly, we've got to get to the screws, so let's open the flap and remove the flap from the front of the machine. This is important. Most decks have a way of getting to the screws by either removing the flap or there's a hole. Now we need to connect up that lead I showed you, and it goes from the back of the cassette deck into the tablet or your smartphone there. The one for feeding in the tablet has an extra ring on it. With the machine looking like this, we're now ready to get on with doing the actual adjustments. Now, this is very important. I'm using the KTEL International tape here because it's nice and bright. But if you haven't made, if you haven't got a good reason for doing this, don't do it. This is very important. We're playing back a bright tape so we can adjust the head to be as good as possible. But you need to know that if you adjust anything. All the tapes you've recorded on this machine previously will now no longer sound correct. And that is why you needed to do a tape to set it up to make sure that you could put it back to where it was if you need to. The screw that we need to adjust is in there behind that little cutaway in the bottom. And that must be a good fit with your screwdriver. You must make sure you do not use a magnetic screwdriver. It must not have any magnetism in it. Otherwise you will mess up your head. So, having decided that that's the right size screwdriver and that's the right size screw, what we then do is we play back the tape and we look to see what the output is like. If the output is nice and bright and cheerful and the way it should sound, don't fiddle with it. If it's, on the other hand, got the muddy sound, which you thought it had before, then now's the time to adjust it. And this is where this oscilloscope app comes in. Now, if I adjust it here, the screwdriver sits nice and firm and we're going to alter it. The effect this is going to have is going to make the sound muddy because it was correctly set to start with but what we're doing is we're just altering it so that you can see the effects on it. And if you look at the trace which means that we've lost the high frequencies Got muddy. Uh, I'm doing this voiceover now, if I turn it back, because of the problems of copyright. On the trace. This is a proper music cassette. Now, when we're looking at this trace, what you're looking at is the high frequencies, which is to the right hand side of the screen. You can see quite clearly how the, it's all true. Right. Screw. Very good at this. It will become less. Now you can see the traces are getting quite higher now. The peaks are really coming in now. Look at it here. Much less muddy. This is one of those adjustments that you have to go up to the point and then pass, then bring it back, and then bring it back, and then bring it back until you actually get to the peak. And this is what I'm doing here. I'll go further, start losing it again. Now we're pulling the levels back up again. Yeah. 
you can keep an eye on the right hand side of this there is a level display the yellow thing there popping up and down it yeah, gives you sort of an overall really level naked. now as you can see here we, we're looking at the display and you can see now that it's coming up here this is the bit oh, you're looking for these are the frequencies you want the these here. are the nice peaks you want be doing their thing and that is it done that's your azimuth set as good as you're going to get it and as good as you need it to be as promised how to make a backup tape you need this so that you can set it back to where it was in case you made a mess of it or in case the tapes that you've already recorded don't sound any good anymore This should be music you know and like, so you know what it sounds like. And if you need to use the backup, this is how you do it. Right now, we've got the tape in there, and we're going to play back the 10 kilohertz that I recorded earlier on. There it is. That's the 10 kilohertz. Now I can't hear it, but you can clearly see it there. And what I am going to do is I'm going to just retweak the head just to make sure that it's exactly right. I can turn it down and turn it back up. Turn it down again. I'm going to turn it back up till we get the peak. Which is near enough there now. Yes. And then. Had it before. That's good. That's the peak. It was literally that easy. What you're seeing is the real time it would actually take to do it if you do it more than once. And if you've got any comments, if you'd like to know any more information, please put it in the comments below. And if you think it's a good idea, maybe you'd like to hit the like and subscribe and the notification bell, and I'll catch you another time. This video is about some very good round-your-neck earphones. Worth a watch. Cheers, bye.